Hello there, I'm SimpleTips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install PS Tools. Uh, uh, PS Tools is free from Microsoft. Uh, you just need to go to their website, which I'll provide in the description, and download it. Um, now, this will download as a zip file, um, of which I would personally extract to a folder, um, because they're all individual files. Once they're extracted, you can then run them at any point, um, and that will work. However, you'll need to find the folder run the file each time whereas most people would like to run it straight from CMD and if you try and run it it won't work because they're not installed although you have them and they work they're not installed in the system um, if you want to stop this from happening um, I have created a nice easy bat file um, which I'll also put in the description and you'll just copy this into a text document paste that in there save as name it something dot bat that will save um, and then that will then turn into you know a file that will pre-install itself um, please please ensure unless you want to modify the code um, have PS tools in a folder on your desktop name PS tools with capital P S T and then O O L S in small um, and then that will do the job done but this video is more about what that bat file does so that you can find out what's going wrong if it's not installing properly or if it's not running <coughs> now the first thing to do is to copy this folder into system32 so all I'm going to do is copy this we're going to navigate to system32 windows uh, system32 and we're just going to paste it in this folder here click continue now you might expect that to automatically work but if we run CMD you'll see it still doesn't work that's because CMD doesn't know where to look for PSXEC to know if it should run it so we need to add the path for it um, now again the bat file will do this for you but otherwise what we're going to do is go to start we're going to right click on c computer we're going to go down to properties now we're going to go uh, advanced system settings once this is open you're going to need to be on the advanced tab on the and then go at the bottom you'll find environment variables now you need to scroll through this list here and it's named path now you just need to add the path of PS tools so we're going to go back to our, our system32 PS tools folder we're going to copy that link address and then we're going to, I just double click there or you can hit edit right. and then just paste it at the end make sure there's a colon separating the two paste it on the end hit ok 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 then now when we run CMD as a test that will point to it we can accept the UELEA and then boom we're in and that's now working um, and that's exactly what a bad file does. So it copies over the folder to system32. It then moves on, it sets the path as system32 PS tools, um, and then it runs a test. Um, and that's why it's in different sections. When uh, running the batch file, you'll also need to run it as admin. So you just simply need to right click, run as admin, and then that should give you the rights to paste. Uh, files into system32 um, thank you very much for watching any questions please feel free to comment below bye bye